Hopefully I won't get doxxed for this. Hello ladies, men, and non-binary friends, welcome back. Whenever there is backlash against a woman, I always have to ask the question, are people being critical because she did something wrong or are people being critical because she's a woman? This is an honest question to ask because we've seen both sides, especially with women that are unlikable. In this very situation, for example, Tana Mojo, who is a very polarizing figure, has had a number of people show little to no remorse for her situation. With the most disgusting victim blaming rhetoric I have seen in years is the hate she's facing because she's likely made all of this up for clout to me there's an easy answer absolutely fucking not tana has absolutely no problem getting views and she has enough controversies in her back pocket to last a lifetime i believe tana mojo the way she's spoken about the situation the fact that she really only brought it to light because of that one leaked clip from her live show went viral i can't help but feel for her personally as a survivor of sex assault, I believe her and support her in this, even though I've disagreed with a number of things she's done in the past. No one deserves to be taken advantage of like that, and as women, it's important that we stick together. Now, for the reason why you're here, Brittany Broski has been critiqued for her recent comments on this situation. Brittany has been publicly collaborating with Cody Co. more than any other influencer recently, and they've both financially benefited from their partnership. Cody Co. bridging his older audience to Brittany's newer one. They've appeared in each other's videos, she's been on multiple podcasts of Cody's, and while it's unclear whether or not they are actually friends, they certainly have an active co-worker relationship. It's worth noting that Brittany and Tana have spent a lot of time together as well, but never publicly. Tana has spoken about this on her podcast. Again, they may not be best friends, but at the very least, they have chosen to spend time together on multiple occasions. Tana has spoken about how she's felt hurt by the fact that Brittany doesn't want to be seen with her despite them seemingly having a good time whenever they hang out. But Tana holds no ill will against her as Tana has been labeled problematic in the past and some people don't want to disrupt their image, which she is understanding of. So like, I guess I just forget about my past, you know, and I'm yeah, like, okay, anything. like, but we always have had that kind of relationship where when I see her, we have a lot of fun, but I know she doesn't want to be on the internet with me and it like makes me feel like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, oh, fuck. that is the whole lore with canceled. Like, I, I have to accept that the influencers space is the way it is and there's always going to be the like 50 percent who want nothing to do with this lore fast forward to the cody co allegations coming out and britney's fans flooding to her comment section with pleas to address this citing her and cody's active work relationship i noticed as i scrolled through that there were multiple claims that their comments were deleted shortly after d'angelo wallace posted his video britney posted an instagram story about the situation i am crushed to learn about the cody co allegations if it's proven to be true then that's extremely upsetting as a collaborator and longtime fan. I find all of this disturbing, inappropriate, and just flat out disappointing. Can you spot what's wrong with this statement? If it's proven to be true. And I can already hear the brain dead comments saying, it's not that deep, why are you overanalyzing this? I'm surprised no one has talked about the fact that she doesn't even mention Tana by name in this statement once. She doesn't show any support for Tana, at all. The most common comment I get in response to my critique is that, well, she can't talk about the allegations because then she would be in legal trouble. I'm begging you to use your fucking brains for one goddamn second. First of all, this happened almost 10 years ago. The statute of limitations has passed. It is highly, highly, highly unlikely that Cody would ever be prosecuted for this, especially because Tana does not seem to have any motivation to do so. The way she talks about it, it seems like she really only wants closure and maybe an apology for all of the harassment she's gotten from Cody's fans. Also, I never see the legal argument in regards to supporting other celebrities talking about their sexual assaults. The reaching here, come on. Next. If it's proven to be true, what the fuck does that even mean? What will it take for you to believe that it is true? Because I thought we were supposed to believe all women, Brittany. Or I guess not the women that would implicate one of your faves and a coworker that you benefit monetarily from collaborating with. According to Rain, out of every 1,000 instances of only 13 cases get referred to a prosecutor, and only seven cases will lead to a felony conviction. Does that mean, Brittany, that the other 993 cases of rape didn't happen? Does that mean that you wouldn't publicly support those victims? Because that's what it fucking sounds like. I would expect this rhetoric from a 55-year-old white male director, not a self-proclaimed chronically online girl's girl and feminist. Needless to say, this statement was met with backlash. 
Here are some comments from within her own community. Your response is beyond disappointed. I thought you were someone with morals. Apparently not. Hella disappointed in you for your statement on the Cody Co allegations. Always believe survivors. There is no perfect survivor. Protecting a fellow creator slash someone you're a fan of is pathetic. I lost all respect for you. Imagine deleting comments in order to not look bad. You look worse after that. If the allegations are true, is crazy. My comment was definitely deleted, so I'll say it so you hear me. Believe all victims. It's time we accept that nothing will ever be more important to Britney than white men and the advantage she feels she can get out of them. She wants so badly to be a part of the boys' club. I never comment on anything. Have enjoyed you and your content for so long, but you need to apologize to Tana. I'm disappointed because you very much have the intellect to see the hypocrisy, kind of going against everything you preach. Love you. You still have time to correct. This is so embarrassing, Brittany. We thought you were above depending on how to do you need proof to form an opinion, but also don't need proof to scramble for self-preservation and delete the royal court episode with Cody? Got it. Brittany, I love you and I know your heart is surely in the right place. I don't think your statement was made out of malice. However, I think you should talk more in depth about this on the podcast or even invite Tana on the podcast to talk about what happened. You could have just stayed quiet. Don't pretend that you're a girl's girl when you're an abuse and, and pedophile apologist. Someone said you needed proof? What's with the statement you made regarding Cody Co? Yikes. Disappointed in you. L take on Cody Brittany, so disappointing. I refuse to believe an online journalist would be this ignorant on the Cody Co and Tana situation. Even you yourself stated in a previous podcast that you were quote uncomfortable with the duo dynamic Tana and Cody presented in their collab. And that was years ago. Yet only now are you aware of what is going on? Absolutely not. Furthermore, within your statement, you never addressed Tana. Further within your quote statement, you never addressed Tana directly, showing zero support to her. Rather, you address the allegations directly by saying, if they're true, that's bad. Not a good look. And the performative activism you portray, I believe, is finally starting to catch up with you. Nah, the girls and gays don't want you no more. You're a pick-me girl. Go join the boys club. Quote, if it's proven to be true, girl. To say that about a crime that is famously hard to prove, and even if it's proven, it's still not taken seriously? How much more proof than what we're seeing in the D'Angelo video do you need? Is Cody's silence and censorship not enough? That's really sad, Brittany. Yeah, I'm unsubscribed. I can't support this. You're not a girl's girl. Imagine calling yourself a girl's girl and just not being when it matters. Girl, please backtrack and discuss your story response to the Cody situation on the podcast because this genuinely does not look great for you. You preach about being a girl's girl, yet you're quick to not believe one who is accusing one of your privileged white male friends of something heinous and illegal just because she has been deemed unlikable by the general public and has beef with you in passing. Gabby has corroborated there is no if in regards to the allegations and you should not be treating it like there is. Genuinely shameful behavior, and I know I speak for other previous members of your fan base when I say that we really expected better from you. Believe all victims regardless of personal bias. Shame. Just a shame. Always believe the victim. I never comment on videos, but I'm honestly so disappointed with your response to the Cody Co situation, and I'm only expressing it because I've loved you and your channel for a long time. It's a bad look to say if the allegations are true to simply excuse yourself from picking a side, which has the opposite effect than I believe you think it has. It doesn't mean you get to keep your friend and simultaneously take a stand for a woman who has been assaulted. It means that you're perpetuating the cycle of abuse by remaining silent and allowing an abuser to slip away by not assigning him responsibility. I'm genuinely at a loss for words. I'm so disappointed. You platformed Cody despite his allegations of racism. You wouldn't platform Tana because she's controversial. You were silent for a month while Tana was blatantly talking about it. Only after D'Angelo and Critical posted about it did you delete the videos and respond to fans begging you to acknowledge it. Do you see the issue here? I'm not feeling good about being a fan, girl. Your acknowledgement posts also said if the allegations are true. It smells like double standards and I don't like it. I'm walking away from this channel personally for now. White women have been performative allies since before you could get cancelled on Twitter for it. And yes, I know the irony of discussing this topic myself. It is not lost on me. Their proximity to power through their whiteness, has led to white feminists leading a much more conservative, centrist change in the feminist movement. This is partly because their fathers, husbands, brothers, cousins, sons, etc., were all in the demographic of the people that were primarily the problem, white men. And they couldn't set their prejudices aside for the betterment of all women. So it was up to women of color to lead the charge and make the change, and for white women to take credit and be applauded for it. We still see this today, women of color being the first voices to speak on Palestine and white women being the ones who are praised for it. That's why, as a white woman, I try to be so fucking careful about who I'm listening to, what I say, and how I say it. Because I know the power that my words have and the impact they can carry, so I best not fucking miss. Do you know why I'm making this video? Because I am so profoundly disappointed. And I'm angry because this creator who is so popular and has so much power and influence online has been continuously heralded as a girl's girl and an ally, and she's not. She has management. This is known. There's no way she didn't have someone consult her on this. And as usual, PR has no understanding of internet culture. And so in an effort to keep a more advantageous partnership while still maintaining the image of being someone who speaks about topics like this, she shot herself in the foot with this dog shit statement. Even with all the proof in the world, SA and CSA victims often do not see justice. And if you are an actual ally to women, you would know that. How can anyone, especially someone who touts being an ally to women, see all of this information? Cody and Tana being together around the same time that Tana has spoken about. Gabby corroborating Tana's claims. Cody being friends with a literal convicted sex criminal. Cody muting and heavily moderating all of his comments asking him to speak about this and critiquing him on the situation. And that not being enough for you to just say, I support Tana, hope, hope she's doing well, wish her the best. My question is, 
what would it actually take for you to condemn Cody Ko? I want to know because you're not going to get evidence on something that happened almost 10 years ago. And this is the whole reason why it's important to believe victims. That is the whole point because it takes bravery to come out and talk about this after years, knowing that you might never have the proof to satisfy people, knowing that you might spend the rest of your life dealing with people calling you a liar, a whore, a clout chaser, whatever. What happened to believe all women? From what Tana has mentioned, Brittany, you are friends with both of them, yet you're only giving Cody the benefit of the doubt. When I was in college, I had a friend who sexually assaulted someone, and it sucked. I was devastated. The woman he assaulted was a woman that I could not fucking stand. I hated her. She was insufferable. And guess what? When she told me that my friend did that to her, it was an immediate sever. I didn't need a fucking tape because I saw another woman who was clearly in pain discussing something that was traumatic for her and my heart hurt for her. I will never forgive myself for trusting that person for that long. That is something that I still carry with me and I still feel shame and guilt about. And yet the only advantage for putting yourself in this position for not supporting another woman, a victim, would be to aid your career and your fame. Because before this, Cody had a better reputation than Tana. And Cody was getting you followers, more money, more goodwill on the internet. And I think that's fucking disgusting. But why aren't people calling out Noelle? Why is it just the women in Cody's life? Genuinely, this is fair, because I think Noel should say something. I doubt he will. Do you know why? Because I don't think Noel is a good person either. He did a fucking stand-up comedy set for the Breitbart News Network years ago. For those of you that don't know, the Breitbart News Network is an American far-right syndicate founded in the mid-2000s by American conservative commentator Andrew Breitbart. I have never thought Noel was funny. He has never given me the vibes of being someone that is an ally or a feminist. Cody always seemed more centered on topics, but in the past few years, I've been turned off from his content as well. The reason why people are calling out Britney is because she's a fucking hypocrite. How do you not get this? Girlhood means nothing if you don't actually practice it. This isn't to say I think Noel should be blameless. I'll fully call him out. You are Cody Ko's direct business partner. Your ass is on the line. And you should condemn his behavior or at the very least fucking say something. But frankly, even if Noel does that, my opinion of him won't change. I still won't watch his content. I won't trust him. I won't support him. I'm not interested. But with Britney, this response changed the way I felt about her. I expected more because she set a standard for herself. All I'm doing is holding her to the standard that she set. And all of her fans who hate me and have sent me death threats, you cannot cry feminism anytime one of your faves does something problematic and is called out for it. There is a big difference between someone getting hate online for being a woman and someone getting hate online for doing something fucking stupid. Tana was an actual victim here, getting hate online from all directions for being a woman coming out about her experience with child sexual assault. And you would rather center yourselves and make Britney a victim when she has legitimately done something wrong here. And the reason why people keep talking about this, now that you're asking, is because most of us can agree that Cody Ko sleeping with a 17-year-old deserves to be condemned. But Britney's fans refuse to acknowledge that this was a shitty thing that she did. So that's why people keep talking about it, because the writing is on the wall and your eyes are fucking closed. Well, what could she have said? I'm so glad you asked. Here's a few other YouTuber reactions that I thought were infinitely better. I want to make something abundantly clear. I'm not going to trust a word that comes out of his fucking mouth if he tries to refute this. This is literally been confirmed by Tana herself. Most people have said Gabby told me that she tried to stop this and he did it anyway. So I... Yes, he needs to apologize and, and fuck off into the sun, frankly. I want to make that abundantly clear. I'm not expecting him to come up here and, like, have a thing to say. I think he did that shit. I want to make that abundantly clear, okay? Uh, he needs to say fucking something because he can't just say fucking nothing. Or he can delete all of his platforms. He can do that, too.
I even have a few of my own if you're still looking for some. Uh, I hope Tana is healing. Wishing her the best. I'm disappointed in the Cody Co allegations. Period. Don't say anything else. At Cody Co, this needs to be addressed. Or just say nothing. As much as I would love to have heard her speak on this in a meaningful, helpful way, the statement that she put out was genuinely harmful, and it would have been better if she had just kept her fucking mouth shut. Don't associate or hold it with trauma because I am such a comparative person where I'm like, so many worse things have happened to me. I know things manifest in ways other than me directly feeling them. Like maybe I don't yeah. feel traumatized in certain aspects from certain things and other things I do. But, you know, maybe they just manifest in ways other than directly feeling. The most traumatizing thing of all of this really was seeing how many people, like, don't believe people or don't yeah. believe me. I feel so bad for all of these young girls because then they see that and then it makes them not want to come forward. I just don't know how the fuck you can sit there and watch a video of a woman sharing her trauma and have any other reaction other than, holy fuck, I'm sorry for what you went through. Because here's the thing, Tana was never calling for him to be canceled. She just explained what happened to her because everyone kept asking. And Brittany, you don't believe her. This should be the end of this discussion. Brittany Broski does not believe women. Not when it actually matters. So what does it actually mean to be an ally? This is a difficult question. Uh, there are so many ways to answer, especially if you're talking about being supportive and being an ally to different marginalized groups. But there's one thing I think that we can all agree on. Being an ally is not supposed to be easy. It is hard. You have to force yourself to unlearn prejudices that have been hammered into you from youth. You have to constantly be learning and listening and standing up for those who would benefit from your platform and your voice. It's hard. I'm sure one day I will say something and fuck up, but Jesus Christ, if I don't correct myself and try to learn and be better, fucking drop me. Brittany has built a platform off of being a girl's girl, an ally to the girl's gays and theys, someone who stands up for what's right and condemns what's wrong. And she has gotten all the praise and goodwill and accolades for such. But when it's most important, when her voice and allyship could be of the most use, She's silent and only speaks up when she is absolutely forced to, with a lukewarm response that feels forced, disingenuous, and disappointing. Brittany has a very strong brand and a very strong fan base, a brand that is directly linked to her actual personality, therefore making it impossible to separate the art from the artist. Her fans are in such complete denial, because if they accept that she is not the feminist that she portrays herself to be, they also have to accept that a huge part of her online personality is based on a lie, and they can't handle that. I'd like to close out with a statement from Britney's own comment section that sums up my feelings on this completely. May you never face an if when you deserve to be believed. Have the day you deserve. As always, I have Rowan's GoFundMe linked below. She was supposed to attend university this year, but Israel bombed her school and her home out of existence. If you're not able to donate, that's fine. Just make sure to leave a like and a comment to boost the algorithm because there's gotta be someone on this godforsaken app that can give a dollar or two. I'm currently running a D&D campaign linked below where any and all ad revenue is going directly to Palestinian families. So by literally watching D&D, you are helping people in Palestine. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you wanna hear more from me. Please take care of yourselves.